I know it's a little early, 7.15, but I need to talk to the international teams every morning when I get in. And also it's really, really quiet at work. And so I like to have a couple of hours to just do my own thing. It's the most wonderful part of my job, but I get to talk to the UK, I'm talking to Australia. It just is easier to talk to them in the morning. Um, it takes me like 15 minutes to get to the office. It's really easy, I just shoot up my back. I either call my mom, because if I don't call her in the morning, I won't get to talk to her all day, or I listen to Adam Grant's Work Life podcast. I love being the director of strategy for Bumble. I think that my path was a little bit out of the ordinary. I graduated with a business honors and finance degree. I did management consulting for, for almost 10 years. In between there, I got my master's in business and, and some of that stuff. When the opportunity came to potentially join Bumble, I just fell in love with the mission and what we stand for, trying to end misogyny around the world. Um, who wouldn't want to join that company? When I first joined, I thought, oh, this is I literally have nothing to do. I would get to work at like eight, I'd leave by five, and everyone kind of said, just give it, give it a couple of weeks and things will definitely go from zero to 100. I'm now in back-to-back -back meetings all day. It's so fun, it's fast paced, but yeah, picked up really fast. The time management question, a very good one. I would say that I'm not very good at it yet. What I really try hard to do is on Sundays kind of think about the week ahead and actually block time physically in my calendar that says Monday morning for two hours, I'm gonna prep for our all hand meeting. Tuesday afternoon, I'm gonna go to my workout class. There's so many times that I don't actually get everything done that I wanted to get done. What I do then is spend a little bit of time thinking about how I did end up spending my time. Most of the the time I spent my time in a way that was way more productive than I would have if I had just done the things that I set out to do so I try not to be too hard on myself no I never thought that this is what I was gonna be when I grew up I actually told my parents that I wanted to move to India and I wanted to become a Bollywood actress I've been dancing since I was the age of five I can very terribly speak Gujarati which is kind of similar to Hindi which is the language that most of these Bollywood films are in and then yeah I went to school and I got a degree in finance. I got a degree in finance because I wanted to make sure that I could basically have as many doors open to me as possible. Having a degree in finance would have allowed me to go to consulting, which is what I ended up doing, but also to go into finance, go into banking. Bumble is very small compared to both the consulting firm that I worked at, but then also the clients that I served. Think about serving $26 billion global clients. Bumble's tiny compared to that, which I love. Think of it as a speedboat in the ocean. We are constantly pivoting and making decisions and going in one direction and then going in another, but in a very strategic way. And what's so cool about that is you can make a suggestion or a recommendation or have an idea and then most of the time acted on, if not exactly in that way, but still acted on pretty quickly. I remember my very first couple of weeks, we were looking at something on social. We realized that one of the people that kind of got the most interest on social was uh, Whitney, our CEO. I think it was right around the time that she got listed to either the Fortune list or the Forbes list. And so we said, hey, let's like pull her into our social story. The social team did it. Like they literally did it that the next day. And it was so cool to see that happen in real life. There's so few of us and one person will have an idea and that somebody will go and talk to somebody else and then before you know it, the snowball effect happens and it's this really cool activation or execution or way to interact with users. It's just really neat. Oh, my love language. I'm actually tied. I think it's a three-way tie. Words of affirmation, acts of kindness, and touch, physical touch. Basically, the moral of the story is I don't need gifts. Don't waste your time buying me any. <laughs> well, I'm glad that I found a conference room because the conference rooms in this office are so hard to get. This is my favorite conference room because it's away from all of the noise. And then I'll get in, I'll turn the light off. Uh, yeah, I know, I'm really weird. And just start checking all my email. Um, and typically by, by the time I get into the office, I have a bunch of Slack messages I need to respond to. I like to look at all of the, the data from the day before to understand how we're performing from my downloads and activity standpoint. I spend two hours just kind of getting into my email and my data. Thanks so much, I'm gonna get to work. Thank you so much for joining me on this uh, wonderful ride this morning. I hope it was fun.